Hey, my name is Xenia Shadow. Welcome back to another video game discussion. Today we'll be talking about Pokemon Gold and Silver Virtual Console uh, announcement video. I don't know, but they're being released. So, anyways, if you don't know, Pokemon Sun, <laughs> Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow came out about a year ago on the Virtual Console for the Nintendo 3DS and 2D. Well, the 3DS family basically always say that because there's so many damn names that just go by off now with Nintendo, huh? So. Basically, Pokemon Gold and Silver will be releasing September 22nd, 2017, the same day as Pokemon Tournament DX for the Switch. If you haven't watched that discussion, go watch it, please. But, regardlessly, what are my, what's my opinions on it? So, of course, the biggest thing that we all know that this will be supporting Pokemon Bank. It will be supporting Pokemon Bank. So, they didn't say in the trailer, uh, but I'm assuming it is. I'm, uh, I think I might have seen it, I think. I wonder if it's like the in the But I think we're still getting our local trade. Our local trade. Uh, or even online trade. I'm not too sure. No, it's not online trade. It was just local trade. Uh, through the wireless connection thing. So that's that's going to be awesome. That's going to be cool. So I like that if they're bringing it back because I would like to do that with the people who want to find a good time for chance. So that's going to be interesting to do. Uh, other than that, uh, yes. With Pokemon Bank, you can trade all or transfer all your Pokemon from gold and silver on those to the bank and transfer them into your future-ish Pokemon games. So that's a possibility. Of course, in that generation, it was always like a few moves I always wanted. That's not in Pat in the next gens like ever since that point. Uh, point which I remember was a Sky Attack. That was one I really wanted. I think it was also maybe in Generation One. I could be wrong about that. Uh, also, Zap Cannon. That was a freaking great one, which only like three Pokemon can learn in a whole entire franchise like that. Which was like Ry Raikou, uh, Mew, and I forget the other one. I forget. Um, and I don't know if I did some of the other moves, but it was just some moves that you can never teach anybody anything. So, that's going to be a pretty interesting thing from my personal opinion. Um, I don't. We don't know the price range for Pokemon Gold and Silver just yet. But if there's going to be anything like Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow, it's just going to be $10 each, so if you want to get both, uh, you're mostly, you're mostly down, down $20, uh, plus, uh, plus tax, of course, but you know. So, so we have to wait and see about two, two. It could be even a little bit more because it's a sequel to Red, Blue, and Yellow, but uh, hopefully they're not. Hopefully they're not. It also, uh, I didn't say it was the 20th anniversary of that game, you know, it's like, I think it passed for sure. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's 20th anniversary. It's getting close, it's getting there, it's getting, it's getting close. But still, it's, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have a lot of fun playing this first and second gen, the most. Uh, third gen, not so much, but I, I did have uh, memories for them too. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. So, once again, everybody, uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys all for the next uh, video game discussion, which is not going to be about Pokemon Gold and Silver. Okay? Bye-bye.